Alright guys, how's it going? Mr. Callie Mesh here. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a review of the Maverick Rome gloves. Um, so I've had these for a while. I've had them for about a year now, since last summer. I haven't been using them for a year, but I uh, forgot to do a review on them, I think. Um, so, um, so here they are. Um, I did get a lot of use out of them, though. And they did not rip or anything, so that was good. Um, so... This is like Maverick's Elite Glove. It's their most expensive glove. It's $175. Uh, first thing, it's very tight fitting. This is 13 inch, but it feels a lot like a 12 inch. I'm very snug. My fingers are actually pointing out the back. Um, the fingers are made of this Dura stretch material. Makes it more flexible. You can see how stretchy it is. Um, there's this. This material is brown, dark brown is just like a, a, a form of synthetic leather and then this little black thing in the middle is dura stretch so again the glove is a lot more flexible even in the palm um, then there's a nice grip strip of leather and leather up here um, the thumb is pretty stiff it's actually pretty flexible I mean um, it's a little it's pretty flexible yeah good flexibility it has the shark gel which Maverick claims it's a patented material um, that it uh, it's uh, turns hard as steel um, on impact, and and then um, they have shark skin here, which adds grip. And they say that it is a uh, it's another Maverick patented material that they got from the military, and it's impossible to rip or tear. Um, that's what they say. Um, the backhand is very flexible. Ventilation is not good at all. It's terrible. These are not vents, like. There's a piece, they look like vents, but there's a piece of plastic underneath them, so I don't know why they have them there. Um, it's just not ventilation at all, and then <sighs> ventilation, you also can't feel it through here. Uh, there's no holes on the back on the other side, so. And then then cuff is the armadillo style cuff, so it has a regular free floating cuff, and then it has these two other parts that come down, and then the third one, so it's sort of like protects you your entire wrist, and then when you come back, those do not restrict you at all. Um, <clears throat> so the gloves are very flexible. They're very nice. Um, you can see just how flexible they are. Um, like, they're really nice. Protection is not very good. Um, so, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're looking for a protective glove, this is not it. Um, I compare it to the King 2 protection, um, the Brian Messiah protection. Uh, it's all around there. Same with the SDX Assaults even. Uh, they're flexible, um, but they're not that protective, but they're nowhere near as non-protective as the King Super Light, so they're like right in the middle there, um, which is perfect um, for me at least. They got index finger protection there and uh, pinky protection there. Um, the palms, this dark brown stuff gets really crusty if you sweat in it and you leave it. Um, there are a few holes in the palm, but that's not a mu that much ventilation. My hands are even sweaty now. That's been a problem with Maverick gloves forever, uh, is ventilation. The uh, Maverick... Um, Starting with Maverick Maybox, they had no vents. Um, then the Maverick Roams, no vents. Maverick Maybox Deuces, no vents. Maverick Combines, no vents. There's no ventilation in any of their gloves. Um, so just sitting here, this is getting my hand is getting very hot. Um, it's a good glove. Uh, it's very durable. The palm, even though it gets crusty, uh, you can pour some water on your gloves and it's fine. And it it, it does it, it. They do stay last a very long time, um, as you can see. Um, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I can say about him. I broke my thumb in him because of the shark gel. The shark gel is basically like having a gummy bear tape, duct tape to your thumb. Um, no matter how much you say it's going to turn as hard as steel, it doesn't. Um, it does not at all. Just like you can test it, like poke it with your finger, it does not turn hard as steel at all. At all. So it's basically, like I said, having a gummy bear duct tape to your thumb. Uh, so there's no protection there. But overall, they're a very good glove. Um, if you have bigger hands, not recommend these. Um, yeah, and then another annoying thing is that the insides come out when you take your hand off. So um, pretty good glove. Personally, I think they're very, very, very overpriced. Um, if they were around the 130 mark, I would much, I would enjoy them a whole lot more. But they're not, so kind of sucks. But that's about it, and thanks for watching, guys.